honey. Get out of here. Oh my god. And Mike. And this is the books. And looks. And today we are going to bring you our top five good books, but terrible movies. So these are books that we enjoyed but absolutely hated the adaptations. Yeah. Pretext to this, these are movies that were good books. So there are a lot of bad adaptations out yep. there, but we are specifically honing in the ones of books that we actually enjoy. Yes. So there's a ton of bad adaptations, but we're probably not including them because we probably didn't enjoy the books that much to begin with. So just want to throw that out there. Ready? Yep. Go ahead and start it off. All right. So coming in as my honorable mentions, they barely just didn't make my list. I had too many. And that was Gulliver's Travel. Gulliver's, Gulliver's Travel. Gulliver's Travels. Gulliver Travels. <laughs> Uh, I loved the book when I was a kid, and then Jack Black made a movie of it. There's your first problem. No. My last honorable mention is Cat in the Hat. Oh, you haven't seen it? Good. No, it's really bad. Coming in at number five is Aragon. This is an amazing fantasy book. I love this book so much. I couldn't have been more excited for this movie until I saw it, and I wish it was never made. The best part about the movie was Jeremy Irons. All right, my number five I'm going to have to start with is The Time Machine. And that almost didn't make my list. However, I like Guy Pierce. I thought he did okay in the movie, but from what I read in the book in high school to translation to the movie, there, it was just done very, very poorly. It almost didn't make my list because the movie's not that bad, but comparison to what the book was, mm -hmm. it left out way too much. Number four is League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. This book is really fun and it, and it basically combines all of your literary yeah. heroes and it's it's actually a pretty rad book so when I, I was so excited for the movie and they just like turned it into a superhero movie sort of yeah. like that's how it felt to me. Oh man. It was an early attempt at the Avengers. <laughs> Poor attempt. Coming in at number four for me and this was a guarantee bad Bad movie, great book, The Pathfinder. The lack of storyline from the book to the movie. Um, the boy who becomes this superior leader who is a Viking but it was adopted by Indians was just completely thrown out the window mm -hmm. as far as how he became a man, what he had to do to become that, the struggle he had. They literally went from him being adopted to him being an adult. You're missing too much subject content. All right, number three for me is The Scarlet Letter. Now, I read this book in high school for Honors English my sophomore year, I'll never forget. And you know, we watched the Demi Moore movie and it's awful. Demi Moore, right? Mm -hmm. It's awful. Mm. If, if your teacher puts this movie on in class with his book, it's not a good. She's just yeah. trying to nap in class. Yep. She's just trying to grade some papers. Why? Yep. Why you do something? Number three on my list is going to be The Musketeer. The book was written in the perspective of D'Artagnan without the Three Musketeers. Okay. Very good book. It's kind of a good take and a good spin off of what the Three Musketeers offers. However, the movie was not a good translation. The acting ruined the book. I mean, the guy who played D'Artagnan, I can't even tell you his name. It was horrible. All right, number two. Oh, this one like hits me in personal feels. Oh, I don't, I can't. It's the personal feels. It's Ella Enchanted. Ella Enchanted was my all time favorite book growing up. Ella Enchanted is what got me to read. I love Ella Enchanted. I loved it. Don't you? I loved it so much. And I remember when I got older, I found, I think I still have like, I have like four tattered copies of it. I read it so much. And I found out they were making a movie, and I lost my freaking mind. I was so excited. And then the movie came out, and it was awful. Mm -hmm. It was so bad. They made it this, like, uppity, like, almost musical That's thing. That's the one with Anne Hathaway, right? Yeah, with Anne Hathaway. It was so bad. It was nothing like the book. The book was, like, that was my first retelling, right? It was so magical to me, and it was just such a different way to look at Cinderella. It was so good the book is so good and the movie is so bad it's so bad how, how bad is the movie it's so bad <laughs> number two for me animal farm 
-hmm. Okay, read the book, then they show us that janky little cartoon of a movie. Uh -uh. I get the, 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 the premise of Animal Farm and how the symbolism is the big point of that. You cannot make the book Animal Farm into a kid-friendly movie. I really would love to see a modern day version of that done, especially with the CGI and effects, I think. It could be done right. Yeah, maybe someday. Your top worst good book bad movie is... Drum roll, please. My number one bad book, or great book to bad movie was The Congo. I mean, the big premise of it is they go back to the Congo to seek out these uh, special diamonds and gems and, and whatnot, and you have this special species of gorilla that are guarding them. In the movie, there's no background to why these gorillas are the way they are. In the book, it, there's just so much information and so much great subject matter on everything. It's really hard to explain, but for me, it was a huge letdown. And my number one... Worst movie adaptation of a book that I loved is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, Sea of Monsters. Can we just take a moment of silence here, please? Bow our heads. I was so excited for this movie, man. There was hype, okay? It, this is a beloved book, and I thought it was going to be like the next Harry mm -hmm. Potter movie series. And I liked the casting. I thought the casting, the casting was pretty was good. Great. But what did they freaking do to the plot? Like the books are so exciting and adventurous and well written and witty, and there's like great conversation between the characters. And they were just like, hmm, let's screw that. Let's just do our own thing and just use the name of the characters. That's how it felt to me. Like they were, they like changed them. They changed how you know, and. Annabeth and Percy met. They changed like Percy's whole adventure. They well, didn't... they changed how Annabeth looked. Like that too. Difference. I mean, looks I can get past, but just like completely changing the plot. I mean, they even bring in Kronos and like the whole like fly, like Hermes shoes, completely different. I... It was a different yeah. movie. It kind of reminds me of Miss Peregrine. It was just like a different yeah. movie. I yes. actually like the movie on its own a little bit. But just as a Rick Riordan fan and as a really big Percy Jackson fan, watching the movie was a real, it was, it's the biggest disappointment of a movie out of all my, you know, book adaptations, so. It's one of those ones that had so much potential, but they just decided to cut it. The story corner. is so great. Why do you need to change it so much? It has such a beloved following. I just, yeah. I, don't I don't understand. No one will ever understand. Nope. Yeah, and if you guys have a different of a, opinion on a book that was made into a terrible movie, by all means, comment on it. Let us know. Yeah, let us know what your um, bad, bad, good book, bad movies are yep. down below in the comments. We actually went and did our own list separately, and we just put them together. And yep. I'm surprised nothing overlaps. Yep. Like, we don't have any movies that are the same on our list. So I thought, no. I thought like my top ones would be at least in your top five. No. I don't even know you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks, if you want to see more content like this and see more of this pretty face, go ahead and hit subscribe down there. Right here. <laughs> All Do right. It. Take care. See you guys.